Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas. I'm not gonna say what number of Vlogmas we're on because I honestly don't remember and I probably would just get it wrong. But for today, we're gonna be talking all about one of my newly discovered brands. Actually, kind of discovered, not really because it's in general a newish brand and one of their top products from the line. We're gonna be talking all about Merit and the signature lipsticks. I do own six of them, so I am nearly... I own almost all of them from the permanent collection. I'm only missing two of them. So two of them were kindly sent by Merit to me whenever they were originally released. Because this, like I was mentioning, it's kind of like a newest product to the line. And I got two in PR. I've got Millennial and then I got Cabo. But after that, I fell in love with the formula, clearly, and I ordered Le Avenue on the Sephora BIB sale. When the Sephora BIB sale passed, then Merit had their Black Friday deal, and of course, I had to pick three more. So we're gonna be swatching first the three that I just picked, and then the rest, so the six in total, so we're gonna be swatching them on the back of my hand and on my lips. Before we jump into it, please be sure to subscribe. It's super easy, it's 100% free. Just hit the little red subscribe button. Be sure to hit the little bell so you get notified every time that I post that for this month of December, my content is gonna go from two videos up to five videos per week. These lipsticks have just the prettiest packaging. I really love them. They are plastic and they are just stunning. I actually usually keep them on the back of my, on top of my vanity, just on display because they're so pretty, but Speaking of the actual formula of the lipstick, it is such a comfortable, lightweight lipstick that you can get full opacity as on the bullet, but you can also dab them down and make them very subtle. So it's a very easy to wear and very easy to apply lipstick. So for all of those reasons, this formula has been quickly becoming one of my top favorite lipsticks of all time. The first one we're trying is gonna be Slip. This is going to be the lightest one out of the bunch. In general, it's gonna be the lightest that Merit carries. So let's go ahead and apply it all over the lips. This one, I was a little concerned that it might not show up as much on my skin because my lips are very pigmented and they are a bit more on the mauve side but I think it looks very pretty and this is going to be such a beautiful lipstick to wear in those no makeup makeup days or whenever I'm going very heavy on my eye makeup. This is gonna be so, so pretty. I really am glad that they did not wash me out. I feel like it looks so, so perfect. And once again, this is Slip. Let's move on to the one that I was most excited for, and this is 1990. So this is going to be the brown shade out of the bunch, and it just looks beautiful. Lately, I've been getting more into brown nudes, or like brown in general, and this is going to be the most brown that I own in my collection. So let's go ahead and try it. This is even prettier in person. I am loving it. It is the perfect shade of brown that I was hoping it would be. And what I love, on top of how comfortable they are on the lips, this formula just makes it so easy to go for, like, let's say, a more vampy brown like this in a still a very natural, easy to wear way, which I absolutely love. So anyway, here is 1990. And then the last one of my new lipstick is going to be Fashion. I was not expecting to add this to my, to my cart. This was actually a last minute thing. But once I saw it on the models, it just looks so, so beautiful. But this was not something that I originally wanted to get. I was planning on, get it, on getting the other pink. I think it's called Baby. But I ended up switching it for Fashion. So let's go ahead and apply it on the lips. I am so happy I ended up adding this to my card. It is such a stunning berry lip color. And I feel like berry is also very fall, winter. It's just beautiful. And here we have fashion on the lips. 
Now that we got the new lipsticks that I just purchased out of the way, let's go ahead and try the other three. So I did already own three previously. One that's actually fairly new that I picked out from the Sephora VIP sale. The three new ones, I got them from the Merit website during their Black Friday. So, very first one, we're gonna try the lightest one that I have and the only pink out of the bunch. This is going to be Millennial and this is my perfect everyday lipstick. I wear it all the time whenever I really know what to wear. I just throw this in. I feel like it's the perfect pink for my complexion. And this basically lives in my bags because I always have to have it with me. So let's go ahead and try Millennial. I'm telling you, this is the prettiest everyday pink. It is so, so beautiful. And I feel like it just brightens up your face without being like a super intense lipstick, which I absolutely love. So here we have Millennial. Let's move on with Cabo. This is definitely the more orangey red, such a beautiful shade for the spring and summer. It is intense, but at the same time, easy to wear. So if you're not like really into reds, this is such a good one to kind of like start dipping your, your toes into red. So let's go ahead and try it on the lips. Here we have Cabo, the perfect spring summer red. Though this next and last lipstick is super new in my collection, like I literally picked it up like a couple of weeks ago from the Sephora BIB sale. I think this is one of my favorites out of all of them and especially beautiful for uh, fall and winter. And this is Le Avenue, however you pronounce it. I can't speak French to save my life. So it is just a very, very beautiful reddish brown. It's super, super pretty. I think this is going to be a color that suits everyone. Like even, even if you are like very light complexion or way darker than mine, I feel like this is going to be a perfect lipstick for anyone. So let's go ahead and try it on the lips. And here is Le Avenue on the lips. It's just such a unique shade. I feel like this is going to be hard to dupe. If I go into my collection, I don't think I can find something similar to this. It has a ton of brown, but also at the same time, a lot of berry. So I don't know, it is just so perfect for fall and winter. Here we have all of them swatched side by side. So the very first one is going to be the lighter one. This is going to be Slip, very similar to the shade that I have on my nails today. Up next, we have the beautiful pink, and this is Millennial, one of the newest one, fashion, very stunning uh, berry tone. Then the beautiful Cabo, perfect for summer, the stunning brown, this is 1990. And then lastly, one of my favorites, Le Avenue. So you can see clearly here on the swatch behind my, you know, in my hand, that Le Avenue has that brown to it, but also that berry. It's like, I don't know, it's like if these two were combined and then you get this one. Beautiful shades. I cannot stress you enough how much I love this formula. If you are someone who does not care too much for lipstick, maybe because they feel too heavy, you don't like the matte sensation, this is just a very comfortable, lightweight, a formula that it's not going to feel like you're wearing anything on the lips. It's gonna give you a very good pigmentation without being, of course, full opacity, but still. And the thing that I love the most about this is that you can still go very light on the lips. Like if you just blot, blot, blot your lips, it's still gonna look very beautiful, giving you that pigmentation or that color you see on the lipstick, but a very subtle look. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and if you own any of the shades or if you have the ones that I'm missing which is Baby and Tiger. Should I go and get them already just to have the full collection? Anyway you guys thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We're still running through the month of December which is going to be Blogmas. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!